I am Megan Maroney, and I'm here in San Francisco with the Golden Gate Knights. Every Sunday, they get together to teach people the art of saber choreography. I brought my boys with me, and we're going to check it out. So is this your first time here? Yes. <laughs> Super excited. Have you ever done any choreography or with sabers? No. Yeah. <laughs> I just mess around with wooden sticks. <laughs> yeah. And did you make your costume? It yes, looks beautiful. I did. Thank you. Oh my god, his costume is so awesome. No one heard that. No one heard that. I'll show you the darkness, cameraman. Thank you all for coming. We hope today to teach you a little bit about the fight between Kylo Ren and uh, Rey. All right. So how about this? We're just gonna warm up a little bit with our saber. One, two, three, four. I'm tired. This is hard work. I had no idea that the force was so aerobic. I am burning a lot of calories on my Apple Watch, but the, unfortunately, there's no workout for saber choreography. And four. Good job. What do you think so far? Uh, it's fun. Yeah, it's like Jedi yoga. I'm having so much fun. Yeah. I didn't know how much exercise there was, so you get this workout too. Yeah. I feel good after <laughs> all of that. We're going to start now with just some basic techniques that will get us through the first phrase, the first part of this choreography. Guard position, cue with the pommel, and cut. I'm here with Alan Block, one of the co founders of the Golden Gate Knights. Hello. How did you get involved in this, Alan? Well, I was really interested in costuming, but there was not a lot of people that were doing reenactments. So I decided that uh, I wanted to learn. So I met a man named Matthew Carrudo, and we founded the Golden Gate Knights about six years ago. Stepping back, just like this. What's your martial arts background? Uh... My martial arts background con consists of French foil, I also know how to do uh, some German longsword from Lichtenhauer School. And I also know how to do Bolognese side sword. You come here, here, and jump back. Good. You also perform. Yes. In fact, we've performed uh, with orchestras such as the uh, American River College Orchestra. Uh, we've also performed with an orchestra uh, here in the San Francisco Bay Area, the Temple Hill Orchestra. Just recently, we had a performance over the uh, Academy of Sciences for their Star Wars thing. There you go, now on the ball, now on the other side, all you're doing is bringing it across. What exactly will someone learn when they take one of these classes? They're going to be learning theatrical stage combat. A little bit higher than that. Good. Not a martial art, but a performance art, so they can look like they're fighting. Oh. It's actually a really great thing to do uh, friends or bringing a date. People come here, they don't know really anything about performance, and we teach them how to become a really cool performer and sort of live out their uh, childhood fantasy of being a Jedi Knight or perhaps a Sith Lord. You killed my father figure! Ah! So if someone wanted to take this class, what would they do? Where would they go? They can come to our website, goldengatenights.com, reserve a space. You can also check us out on Facebook, where we post a lot of events, and uh, simply sign up. We take a $10 donation, that's about it. And uh, over a course of time, when they become really good, they can perform. We do that for charitable events. <laughs> if someone doesn't live near San Francisco, how can they learn these techniques? Well, there's a lot of groups that are starting to do this, starting to teach uh, stage combat. <laughs> All right, everyone, let's all come forward in a big circle. There's one uh, national group called Saber Guilds, and they have uh, chapters all over the country, in fact, across the world. And they do a lot of good charity work as well. I'd say just uh, jump on the Internet and just uh, start Googling around. Um, you'll find them. They're actually a lot more uh, common than you might think. All right, uh, may the force be with you on the count of three. One, two, three, four. 